How's it going everyone? That's Fink here. And today I'm here with the theory for you guys. So we are on a break this week and the tea party is going to start comparatively sooner. As we are on a break, I thought about making a theory other than the whole Gig Island arc. So as the title says, it's about 100 Beasts Kaido. Well, I haven't posted a theory in a while, so here is one and I believe this one is going to blow up your mind. So first off, I want to thank One World HD for creating a base for this theory. For this theory to make sense, you have to get to know about his theory first. He has discovered evidence for Kaido's potential devil fruit. Here are some of my thoughts that I think about Kaido, his lineage and his invincibility. It has been said that Kaido doesn't die, no matter what. Being the captain of all Zone Devil Fruit crew, it's certain that he has a Devil Fruit too. Why is he so durable and why he doesn't die? I believe that Kaido, Ors, Ors Jr. are all part of giant Oni race. Well, all of them looks like Oni, I mean Demon, but there is an exception for Kaido in my opinion. We know that Jack is half fishman and half giant. Kaido is probably also a half fishman and half Oni. Oni races are naturally durable in my opinion, but a devil fruit eater of Oni race? He's gonna be insanely strong. People believe that he has received the immortality surgery from the previous OP OP Nomi user or some kind of curse or he has eaten immortality devil fruit, but it isn't true. Kaido is a Zoan devil fruit eater and is of Oni race. This makes him durable enough to survive various executions and him being a fishman will prevent him from drowning. He cannot swim, but his gills will still be breathing for him. He can be saved by his own crew from drowning then. But to survive even a skyfall? Well, I will get to that later. So first I want to talk about One World HD's theory about Kaido's devil fruit. So the idea is that Kaido has a mythical Zoan devil fruit, Typhon. So he basically has Typhon Typhon Nomi or something like that. There are many pieces of evidence pointing to him having a Typhoon Mythical Zone Devil Fruit. Here are some evidences that will totally convince you. In Greek mythology, the Typhoon is the strongest creature. It is also the father of beasts. Sounds similar? Kaido is the king of the beasts and has given birth to many beasts via smile. In the story of Typhoon, there was a group of three sisters called Fates or Moirai. They all control the threads of fate and can see through only one eye. So strings, only one eye, does it remind you of someone? Doflamingo. Doflamingo controls threads and strings. He is also considered blind in one eye. He also has his Jolly Roger which has one of its eyes cut out. This means he sees through one eye only. Are you still not convinced? Moriah were also responsible for dealing the ephemeral fruit with Typhon which were supposed to give him strength and Doflamingo traded smiles with Typhon. Oda probably took inspiration from this story. Kaido even looks like Typhon. Kaido currently has many mythical zones under him and have recruited them due to their powers. Typhon being the father of most mythical creatures will have a connection to Kaido with this case as well. Kaido has went out recruiting mythical zone users into his crew. It is also possible he bought mythical zone devil fruits and gave them to his crewmates. Doflamingo easily acquired Mera Mera no Mi, so it is hardly a big deal. Therefore, we can come to a conclusion that Kaido is a Typhon Devil Fruit user. So now let's come back to my theory. Like I have said, Kaido is insanely durable and is nearly invincible as his defense cannot be penetrated. And it has been said that if it is a one on one, always bet on him. So this may define that how much strength and durability does he have. It is said that on a 1v1, Kaido will always stand victorious. And in One Piece world, durability comes from the will and or Zoan type devil fruits. And what I think is that along with the will, Kaido also have the power of several Zoan devil fruits. Before hating me for this, listen. There are two types of Zoan devil fruits basically. First of which is natural Zoan devil fruit, which has devil inside of it. And the second one is artificial smile devil fruits which doesn't have any devil inside of it. So I believe that Kaido possesses one natural mythical Zoan devil fruit, Typhon, but along with that he also has powers of several smiles. Let's look at some gifters now. Well if you guys don't know who gifters are, they're the type of people in Kaido's crew 
who have eaten the smile level fruit. They all have a tattoo on their left arms and we can also notice that Kaido has a tattoo on his left arm too. We can also notice that all the gifters has an animal like texture on their tattoos including Kaido. So wouldn't it make sense since Kaido resembles the traits of the gifters and meets all the requirement he himself might be a gifter and has eaten the smiles. You might be thinking why smiles? Well if Kaido has eaten only one smile it would be totally weak for a Yonko. But for him to eat several that's gonna be insane. To make him eligible to eat several devil fruits Typhoon Mythical Zuan would totally fit with Kaido. Here we are gonna assume that Kaido has eaten many smiles. We can recall that Moirai had one eye and used to control the Typhon with the strings. This could be the same with Kaido. Though Flamingo presumably has one eye, uses strings and might have been controlling Kaido to some degree. Now that both the characters in both the stories are linked, Moirai used the ephemeral fruits to Typhon. Just like Do Flamingo used the smiles to Kaido. Typhon, also known as King of the Beasts, also made many creatures. In the same way, Kaido made much of his crew a beast by giving them a smile. The smiles cannot be limited to his army only. These fruits would very well be eaten by Kaido himself too. So I have this thought that smiles, unlike the other natural devil fruits, don't have the devil in it. So technically you can eat more than one. So wouldn't it make a lot of sense if Kaido ate hundreds of them, making him to be called as 100 beasts Kaido? The interesting fact is that when we got to know about Kaido, he wasn't known as the 100 beast. We only knew him by his name. But that epithet, we only got to know about that when series got involved into the sad and smile business. Another thing that will support this idea is, if you look at Kaido's tattoo, it looks more predominant than the other gifters in the crew. The tattoos cover up his whole arm as well as some of his chest. Who knows whether it covers his back too. Probably that would be because of him eating hundreds of smiles. So having that many zoo and devil fruits along with his awakened mythical devil fruit makes him tough and durable and puts his endurance on a whole new level. This is the probable reason what makes Kaido nearly invincible. Eating the smiles of 100 animals will give him the ability to use the trait of all the animals he has eaten the smile of. He can use Cheetah's speed, Kangaroo's jump, Rhino's spear, etc etc. It will also match the theme of Luffy's Gear Force attacks name, all named on the wild animals like King Kong Gun, Kong Gun and all those things. So the next question would be how would Luffy beat Kaido with those power ups that he has? The reason due to which the Kaido will fall is the chemicals inside of the smiles. Compared to the story with Typhon and Moirai, Moirai tricked and gave Typhon the ephemeral fruits which indeed made Typhon stronger but actually depleted him from inside, making him weaker in the long run. The same scenario can be followed by Doflamingo too. He and Caesar were both afraid of Kaido and wanted to be as safe as possible. So being a scientist, Caesar probably started to do some radioactive reaction to SAD, eventually making the smiles poisonous and dangerous. As Kaido used to consume a large amount of smile, he was susceptible to the radioactive reaction for harming his body from inside out. The more Kaido uses the power of smiles, the more weak his body gets. What we know about Caesar? Caesar is currently trapped inside of the Volkic Island. He is destined to be saved by Luffy and would be indebted towards him. Caesar will most likely join Straw Hat Fleet if not his main crew. He also is afraid of Kaido and after witnessing Luffy's potential while him fighting with Big Mom, he will put his faith in him and will agree to help him fight Kaido. He definitely knows the secret of Smile as he is its creator and will tell Luffy the whole thing about it. So just like Luffy's gears which costs him some of his lifespan, Kaido's Smile has the same problems too. In my opinion Luffy and Alliance will plan to work Kaido up as much as they can and then make him use all of these smiles to the limit where the poison starts overwhelming Kaido's body from within and that will lead him to his demise. Kaido vs Luffy would be a sort of technical fight rather than a brute strength. Well, I have made a video about Luffy's new gear 4th form known as Rebound Man. Go check it out if you haven't already. Well, it is also somewhat related to this theory. And this was that for this theory guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share this video if you can. Like the video if you liked it. Comment your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think about this theory. And a special thanks to One World HD again 
because without his theory about Typhon, I wouldn't have created this much of a great theory. So thank you One World HD. So this was it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video if you did, comment your thoughts in the comment section below, share this video with whoever watches One Piece and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, I'm that Fink and I'll see you in the next one.